Are you ready to go race? Am I? Uh, it doesn't seem like it, but we'll get there. I'm going to the first District 37 here now, right now. And we're loaded up. What you got there? What? What you got there? Big white bikes. From Starbucks. And we just go like this. What are your main goals for this weekend? Uh, to, to just build from the last last weekend's race. I think by Desert MC I'll be like shredding the gnar. But this weekend I just want to have a safe race and just have fun and get used to the intensity in the desert because I haven't raced a desert race in quite some time. Oh yeah. What you thinking? I'm thinking that I don't gotta race out of Lanto this year. Screw that place. There it is. The emptiness. A little bit different this year. This weekend would be the weekend. You go there when you want to have a crappy race or if you want to end up in an ambulance at the hospital nearby. Not that we've done that or anything. Get a tour of the Rad Custom Designs shop. Rad Custom Designs, huh? Yeah. You said it wrong already. <laughs> graphics. Rad Custom Graphics. It's, oh, well, I'm sorry. Well, this is the office uh, where people come in and place their orders or yell at us. Or yell at you. Uh, this is our screen room where we make uh, all the screens for our t shirts. You know? Okay. So, yeah. you got any kids in here or? I got all kinds of hidden treasures in here. Oh, I bet this is where you're sleeping tonight. We going outside? We go across over to where we do everything. Is this your new beat up race rig or what? Yeah, that's it. Luxury, exactly. Sorry for the mess. Welcome to my crib. This is a, this is a shop. This is oh, where we smokes. do everything. This is like the fantasy factory. <laughs> we don't have any ramps or anything cool like that yet, but, <laughs> but um, yeah. A couple of printers. It's all in Shirey, huh? We got some Shirey stuff hanging there. And then obviously we got some stuff. That's where we, we wrap some stuff and some uh, brand new dirt bike. Brand new dirt bike for you. Yeah. And then. Uh, just our little Specify what you do here. Um, we do a lot here. We do um, a lot of t-shirts, a lot of embroidery, so hats, um, patches, you know, t-shirts, hoodies, jackets, all that type of stuff. Um, and then obviously we make dirt bike graphics and do vehicle wraps and signage and all that type of stuff. Hmm. So, but yeah, there's a little embroidery area, you know. I think it's you. So do you get in there and uh, you use all that yarn or what? Yarn? <laughs> Together. So you, you're telling me it's a hand, hand done. Hand so. done. These machines are just for show. American made? Uh, American made. <laughs> <laughs> These days. Yep, yep. And then back here is all our screen print equipment for printing t-shirts and all that stuff. Ooh. The big heat. The, is this the heater, right? That's the dryer. Dryer. So the, the ink on the shirts don't, doesn't dry until it hits a certain temperature, and uh, that's what this thing does. Yep, so this is it. Awesome. We're packed in here. And they can, uh, anybody can order online, or how you do that? 
Almost. Uh, website's being done as we speak, actually. Uh, the web guy's coming here today, and we're hopefully have something live by the end of the month. Um, be able to design your own shirts on our website and, you know, order graphics, whatever, all that type of stuff. <laughs> This is uh, what Rod Custom Graphics does all day. <laughs> What's up, Jacob? Oh, really? No, you're not Jacob, you're Nick. Yeah. Did you just call me Jacob? Yes. Why would you call me Jacob? Because you two ride a lot together. Don't we I? don't, actually. You guys used to. We used to ride a lot together. I know. Where is Jacob? He's, he's actually going to be here today. Is he? Not here. We at Ryan Abatoy's compound. And what are you getting? Some graphics and I'm doing myself a seat right now. Oh, you're a self mechanic? Um, part time. Part time? <laughs> part time. People, what you're doing this year? What am I doing this year? I'm going to be doing National Hair and Hound to try to back up my championship. And then I'm going to be doing Big Six. Try, um, this time be on the podium every race. That's my goal. And I'm going to do Vegas Torino. Or I heard it's going to be Reno to Vegas this time. So yes. I might be trying to do that. And hopefully the monkey business team will let me back on for ball. You know? How was, how was the thousand? It was. Besides the bike. Um, it was going good. I like it. I like the court. What my section was, was really fun and right, smooth. I appreciate it. So yeah. it was cool. Oh, yeah. And I was able to really like, I don't know, flat track. I like doing okay. that stuff. So it was cool. It went fast. Good morning. We're out here. It's 28 degrees. It's cold. We're gonna go race. I'm soaked. Uh, it's fucking cold. I mean, it is. It's cold out here. But it's gonna get warm. I'm gonna go ride the bomb right now. I think it's open. 7:30. It's lined up, and the banner drops, and you go. So what's up? What's up? Anyways, race day, uh, 2021, first race of the year for uh, District 37, get to come out, see all the new bikes, all the new gear, all the new numbers, and see who got faster and who did it. Yep. Who ate, ask who ate ice cream and who went to the gym? Who ate? Wow. What are we doing? Fucking, we're saving, the, the country is under siege. Yeah, Dallas. Yes, I thought that was great. Bro. There it is. Here she is. Mine for one eye. Hey guys, you know what? Kind of big deal. It's my first race I'm going to be at. I'm not even racing. I bet you with broken back, I'd still overall it probably. Um, I'm just supporting Nick, telling him what to do today because he doesn't know what to do because he's an idiot, right? That's my dad, Hefe. Kind of a big deal too. We're just going to go win today. That's the only option. And Gordon. I'm on drugs. How'd the bomb feel? What do you think? You'd get off and go back in and drive and start with up. Take more. My dually is right behind your truck. Yeah. If you wouldn't mind just throwing it over there. When you walk back, that'd be great. I lost That's a little bad, but it's okay. No, you don't want Alright, we have the famous Brian. Yes. What's going on? Yes, I am. You're the desert district president. District president, the yes. famous district president, I am, I'm the complaint department. <laughs> How do you feel? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm cool. I just don't like every time I make a line and it's super sick. Some dude puts his bike right there while I go take a poop. Every Take the and move it. I'll talk. First. The win is like three or four gram, I think. For how? But for all anywhere on the box, you yeah. get like one, one through five gets paid. Oh, nice. Uh, really good. That's really good. Just like get up, make coffee. Uh oh, here comes Chandler. Here's Rachel. Film this. Film this. Put together for my. Take a piss? Yeah. Oh no. Hey. Hey, 
you feeling about Nick's start? You know, I thought he was out in front, but then we rewatched it. Whoever has the yellow helmet was in front of him. So. I, I thought it was the bomb. Oh, look at I thought it was the bomb. I thought they were extinct. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Uh, last we heard is Nick is either fourth or sixth. I don't know. Um, they said about an hour until he comes in. It's been like 15 minutes. So we're here at Checkers and this is the first loop and we had uh, Nick Burson, Backyard Burson, kicking ass up in front and in second place was uh, Chance Fullerton and then I think it was Preston Campbell and Honda, Jake Augerbright and then Nick and then Jake had a problem. Stopped in the pits, Nick got in front. Jake opened the second loop is technical because this that's where Nick picks it up in the technical part. So we're looking forward to a strong finish today. I think that gets fast. I think Nick is way faster than any of us before him ever were. So we're very proud of Nick Garvin. We hope he's gonna get out there on the second loop and do what he knows how to do best. Get him through the technical, through the rocks, and work his way to the front. So I'm stoked to be here. He's got a fiance now. <sighs> Holy moly. <laughs> Kids grow up too fast. <laughs> Looks like uh, Axel Pearson coming in fourth and Nick Garvin coming in fifth. I walked the whole thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> I lost it in the rocks. The axle here. I was going all over. Yeah, he was on other gear. Good job, man. Yeah, thank you. That was a national, dude. Was it gnarly? That was gnarly. Yeah, bro. How'd you feel? I got, uh, I think, seventh overall off the couch. It is a good fun course, but not too fast, and just, I don't know, I had fun with it. I haven't had in a long time. A lot of good battles today, too. Yeah. See what uh, you did here? Oh, boy. Am I, am I making... It looks promising. I think you can go out and do another know, 60. Did you get into that rabbit excitement when you, like, are fucking... Woo, 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 woo! Everywhere. And, uh, then, and, then, and then it just stops? What do you mean? Like your brakes just stopped or no? Uh, what do you think about that course? Come out of the bushes right there. Have them come out like crawling out of the bush. Pushing your hand. Obviously not good. How'd you do? Uh, I think I got like top five. Yeah. Uh, today was a good day. Uh, got a good start on the bomb. I was probably about fourth or fifth. Um, I just followed Jacob Augerbright basically the almost the whole first loop. Uh, it matters. This was a good day to train and get the bike dialed in. The bike worked really good. The HM suspension is working great. Um, got into a rhythm. Second loop, I rode really, really good. Uh, battled with Axel Pearson and uh, you know ended up fifth overall in the day. We're gonna go uh, get ready here in two weeks. We're gonna race DMC and then we'll get ready for the best in the desert race. That's our main priority. So today was a good day. I'm stoked. Really good day. Fifth overall, not bad. Basically raced a national with all these guys that were here today. We're only missing, I think, like three actual national dudes. So to get fifth overall, it's pretty good. Oh, I want to thank HM, STI, Champion Adventures, uh, BRP, <coughs> AME, uh, Fast House made that happen today. So possibly, possibly. Flow Vision goggles, uh, Nitro Moose, Ryan Abitoy Designs, um, DGA Insurance, and a few others. Thank you guys. I'm gonna get better at that, so thank you. Thank you guys for checking it out. 
If you haven't already, click like, subscribe below. Uh, tune in for next week's episode as we're going to be going out to another race, doing another uh, vlog, I guess, there, whatever they call these things. And uh, yeah, you know, we're going to have a good time and we're going to have a good, good weekend. And uh, thanks again, guys. This is fun to do and racing's a good time and I love it. So enjoy. Enjoy.